Ahora sí. Bueno, estamos en el cuarto capítulo de la parábola de Stanley. Y estamos medio como que no sabemos ni a dónde vamos. Así que vamos a empezar con el juego. This is the story of a man. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Bueno, ya sabemos toda la historia que viene por acá. Ahora, por acá, otra vez. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Por acá he venido, ¿no? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible ah. he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've been neglecting, brother. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. She is a kid. She is a kid. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Oh my They'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to que see me something. Que come inside. Todo. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, my God. Me van a matar. Good morning, employee 47 press. Go to your keyboard. Que apriete el número 5 a mi teclado. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. ¿Qué me está haciendo ese hernero? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. That's a car. Y 
y si me hago nada, ¿qué onda? No me deja hacer nada. No puedo hacer nada, brother. Tengo que hacer lo que me dice. A veces. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, or everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Oh, 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 that's the net I see. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Tengo que jugar con los tiempos Si no contesto nada A ver qué me dice Pero si sí puedo estar capaz que una hora sí, Hasta que se canse Sigo esperando Sigo esperando Total después Lo delante ya sí que Qué perro luego, me va a hacer apartar el botón, una gran siete. Bueno, voy a tener que apartar, si no está acá todo el día. Sí. Tal vez no quiero avanzar, si no aparto la jota.
I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Y ahora me morí de nuevo. Y de nuevo voy a aparecer ahí. Es el cuento de la buena pipa, brother, esto. Y ahora qué vas a decir. Do, muero dos veces por, por tirada. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. <laughs> but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... From here, it's um left. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes, I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh. What is Oh, oh. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Wow. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, wow. did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Uh -oh. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Okay, bueno, voy a cortar acá y después seguiré. Así que se lo paro la próxima.